Good morning, guys from uh, Cyprus and United World Capital. Uh, we have a new trading week, uh, and uh, unfortunately, this has started uh, on a negative note. Uh, the euro is still under very strong pressure due to new uh, news coming from Spain. Now also two of the bigger regions are asking for, let's say, bailout help. And that comes on the top of, let's say, then also the banks that has already asked for a hundred billion euro bailout. Uh, this means that uh, the euro has reached its lowest level uh, in 12 years against Japanese yen. And uh, euro, US dollar is trading on 120.92 this morning. Uh, it has also been falling dramatically, I would say, in the last couple of hours uh, after the Asian market started. Um, on the top of it, we have a difficult situation as well in Greece, where the so-called Troika representatives from uh, the European uh, Union, from the uh, European Central Bank and the International Monetary Fund are visiting Greece to see whether the uh, austerity measures that they have promised to take are following up. Uh, they are not too optimistic about that and Angela Merkel yesterday uh, said that if Greece is not following up her obligations then Greece has to take the necessary consequences. The situation in Asia is also um, uh, rather critical after one analyst came out and said that the uh, Chinese uh, gross domestic product uh, is going to fall also in the third quarter of this year. That has put especially then mining stocks under very heavy pressure and the uh, indexes are falling all over. Also the picture is very uh, bad, you could say, for the uh, opening of the stock exchanges in Europe and in the United States today, where, where the futures are pointing down. For those of you who are trading US dollar, uh, uh, euro, I think that you're in for a fascinating trading day with still downward pressure on the euro. I wish you all a very happy and lucky uh, trading day uh, and a good day from Cyprus. Thank you.